I was a shoemaker for more than 10 years. Nothing I managed to build. I didn't saw what the money was working, especially when there were many shoemakers who came to work around my place. It was very difficult for me. This forced me to go and look for a charm so that I can attract people to my place. They were choosing new shoemakers at the place. I am a man in my mid-forties. I grew up with my parents and two other siblings. Life was okay. They rely on government grants, but my father was very hardworking. He used to go to peace works every time and we had a better life because of my father's hard working. It came to a point when I was 18, my father told me it's now time to get out of this house because I want you to know how to hustle for your life, how to hustle for your money so that you can able to keep your children and family in the future. At first I saw it as a punishment. How could my biological parents treat me like that? But at the end I realized it is a it was a way to let me know how to hustle for money. I went and started to live on my own. It was okay. I was shoe making a job I learned from my father. Everything was okay. I've been there doing better things. But life became hard after I get married. After I get married, my wife was someone who liked money so much. I met this woman at a party. A friend of mine organized his birthday party. I went there. I was drunk. I started charming the girl, lying. I was... I was having a decent job and it goes like that. During the time we were dating, I could borrow clothes, borrow cars, borrow houses so that she can visit me to those houses. I lied to her that I was that rich. I loved her because I loved her and that's the reason why I was always not telling the truth. I was afraid to lose you. We dated like that. For almost three years, we have been dating. And later on, I impregnated you. It was a blow to you. And your parents wanted to go further with education. But it was impossible because she was pregnant. She came to this house, I started renting after the pregnant issue. I've been working tireless, trying to cover up and hide my poverty. It was like a successful thing in the first days. But things started to go worse and I started stealing. I was afraid to be caught. It was still not enough. The girl was demanding too much because she knew me as a rich person. This caused and forced me to go to a Sangoma to boost my business so that it can attract more customers. As I was going out of the house in the morning, I lied I was going to do another job, then remove the former, wear a work suit and my apron, start my shoemaking. It has been like that for a year, but things get worse as time goes on as I'm still afraid to lose it. Even though she was pregnant, she was always telling me that your parents want you back because they didn't sow enough since I have not yet paid bride price Olobola. It was a very hard life for me. After the Sangoma, my business started flowing. But in the process of the ritual to attract customers, I suspect the Sangoma put this witchcraft demon in me. I am now a witch. 
I earn a lot of money, but I feel like I want to kill. Now I have my agents across South Africa. They are shoe making, repairing shoes. What we do is that we take the money you gave us, then go it to this shrine of mine in the mountains. There are clay pots there. We'll put the money into the pots, muti into the pot, then started to cook. I have done this for many of my relatives who gave me runs, money. I will use that money to bewitch them. And we bewitched so many people. A lot of people I bewitch. Some of them, I don't know the reason why I'm bewitching them. I will just feel I want to do it because it's a demon in me which was placed by the Sangoma. There were procedures to be followed. When I took the charm, which is attracting customers to my shoe repairing shops, I should sleep with a goat every Monday. So I make sure I go to my rural area to find a goat I have never slept with. That's the ritual. I am afraid one day I will miss. The Sangoma told me, if I miss, I will start behaving like a goat. I will not be able to talk. I will be sounding like a goat, smelling like a goat. One are dead gods. This is what's happening to me. I didn't knew I'll end up being there just because of this wife who doesn't care about me. And last night I saw her cheating on me. She confessed that the pregnancy is not mine. I have already risked my life. I have already risked the life of my family members because of a person who doesn't love me? Let's move to our That's next story solution. solution. Uncle, please hey, publish uncle, this one for me. Please publish this one for me. I grew up as an orphan. Relatives have been exchanging me like something else. I have been with my auntie for almost four years. And I was been with my uncles for almost four years each. It was something which destroyed my life because I was living in mixed communities. This was almost killing me. I started staying with my auntie after my mom passed away and was a good person. But some of my relatives were also good people. They don't want a dear to be the one with the burden of taking and keeping an extended family a member. They felt it was right to exchange. So I moved to my uncle. At that uncle's place, they treated me well again. Uncle, yes, his child, the child is of my age. She has weird friends with weird behaviors. She was someone very prostitute. And I tried to tell her, please desist from this habit. You will be ending up in grave. But she didn't listen. In fact, she convinced me to become one of their group. I started going with the air to parties. That's how it started. At those parties, we ended up drinking new beers I have never seen in my life. Drinking such beer is one of the things which led me to be in this year. After the first day we drank that beer, I was someone else. 
the next month they moved me to my uncle not because of this incident of drinking this unique beer but it was time to move to the next uncle that one was very serious with my education i finished my matrix and went to tertiary education they trained me as a nurse now i'm working in the hospital and that demon is in me i feel it is something which comes and goes when it's in me i feel it i will be heavy something will be like in my body and this is how i did to many patients if i see someone at the coma i will just point at her or him without touching i killed so many people by that power the power of the devil a lot of times i meet spirits of the people i killed in my dreams sometimes i would be at the graves whilst in the night i was in the house i would be shocked how i am at this grave a grave of a person i don't know and i suspect is the people i killed in hospitals they are a lot of nurses in our group they are killing people like chickens yes our next confession yes my story tell me if i take wrong decision between me and my baby daddy we were having my brother and his nephew on december holiday remember he and jos we stay at one room okay then he closed at work by 14 was thursday from thursday to monday he come home in the morning okay Then on the 17 it was Sunday I got a call from his sister say a child is coming I have to fetch him at the gymnasium okay that boy came so on Monday I let I asked my baby daddy that where is his nephew sleep because I am talking about 18 years boy he said you sleep where he slept yesterday I asked how do you expect me to sleep with two men in the in the room why is he say this is my nephew is there a person who want to go can go i am the one who paid rent okay i take my bag and go to my friend then tomorrow when i go the master then say all the people go home vendor okay i go through his facebook and got the message he was sending to his girlfriend saying he broke up with baby mama for real he even sent money for the girl while our child doesn't have clothes for christmas then he take the girl to his house he was staying with her now he is calling me saying sorry and i told him that i can't forgive him he hit me by taking a girl to his house where the family knows me I have a relationship with my boyfriend for 1.5 years. Initially, he was very decent and well-mannered, but for one year I am facing troubles because of his anger issues. He yells at me every time. I disagree with him. He doesn't not even treat me well in front of his family members and outsiders. He has anger issues. If I don't do things according to him, He gets angry and stops talking to me. Around six months ago, he hit me once out of anger. For this kind of disrespectful behavior, I want to break up with him, but I can't see any solution. I am deeply attached to him, and whenever I try to break up, he says sorry and never let me go. Now what to do? I am getting hit every day for his behavior, and at the same time. can't stay detached from him the next confessions are strictly for the people above the age of 18 all viewers below the age are advised not to watch or listen good day please i need help and advice from family 
on my issue. My girlfriend is pregnant and a thousand times she has asked me if I'm still dating my ex and I am on a million times I have told her we broke up on mutual terms but we kind of talk in a while. My girl doesn't believe me and she actually took my ex conduct, gave it to me, to her friend and call her and wanted her to stay away from me. My ex called to tell me and instantly I suspected it was my pregnant girl. I never did anything to let her know I know she is behind it. And truly, the number the person used to call my ex belongs to a friend of my pregnant girl. How did I know? I saw it on Snapchat. Now I don't know whether to confront my girl or wait till she delivers. Good evening, Solution Uncle. Kindly keep me anonymous and update me when you post things. I've been married for three years now. My husband had a daughter before we get married. She is 14 years now. My husband is only child of her mother. The baby mama feels entitled to my husband's money. She is a lady of about 33 years and is a child with another man. My stepdaughter calls every day for something. My husband provides monthly money of 150, buys books, uniforms, shoes, bags, slippers, shoes, and classes fee of 250 GHC. I don't have problems with this, but I believe in terms like pairs, waste panties should be brought by my mother, by the mother. She has refused to work and always warm saying she doesn't have money. She feels she is a woman and is not the one to take care of the child. But I feel sad for the child. I am afraid someone might lure her with money, but I don't want her to stay with me too because she has been disrespectful to me thrice. Is this how it's supposed to be? My husband is very, very soft and cool. He is a government worker and can't even save.